pets are family, so <clears throat> we'll do anything to protect them. But is pet insurance the right answer? All month, Channel 3 is finding ways to save you money. Chief investigative reporter Sam Smink takes a look. I know. Very vocal. Very typical shepherd. Very vocal. With two dogs. Skip is a beagle basset hound. And four cats. Erin Mueller has her hands full. It's busy. It's messy. <laughs> it's always messy. Having so many pets, you would think Mueller has pet insurance. But it's not something she says she ever really thought about until two years ago when Mueller adopted Oreo the cat for her son. Oreo turned out to have kidney disease. After a couple surgeries, the family lost him four months later. $6,000 later, he was gone, and my son was heartbroken. Just a few months after that, their German Shepherd Boomer shattered a disc in his back. <laughs> Mueller's family spent almost $13,000 getting Boomer healthy again. We were fortunate that we could cover that. Wanting to be able to provide the best health care for your pet is one thing, being able to afford it is another. Pet insurance is not a savings plan, it's a safety net. It helps you plan for the worst case scenario and cover unexpected financial costs, according to experts. People often assume that pet insurance is health insurance for pets, and it is not. The best time to purchase pet insurance is when your pet is young and healthy, says Brendan Bridgeland, the director at the Center for Insurance Research. That's because pre-existing conditions are not covered under pet insurance policies. If you have an older pet who's been with a vet for, you know, 10, 12 conditions over its life, all of those could be excluded under pre-existing conditions. If you're trying to pay less each month, you can do that by raising your deductible, lowering your reimbursement rate, or reducing your annual limit. If it still seems too expensive, you might want to consider accident-only coverage. Most pet insurance companies will also give you a discount if you pay your entire year's premiums up front. And some companies offer a healthy pet deductible. One of the biggest mistakes consumers make, not reading the fine print. Pet insurance does not have standard requirements across the board, so there are a lot of loopholes to look out for. One of those loopholes is dental. Um, it doesn't cover dental, which is often something the vets always push on you. Super expensive, never covered by insurance, unless you buy a special dental policy. And many conditions that certain breeds end up dealing with might not be covered. You have to be very careful if you're with a large breed dog to look over all the exclusions and the limits on hip and uh, leg conditions. It's important to note Pet insurance plans are reimbursement plans. You pay for the treatment and then get reimbursed. It is not a good option to cover your regular uh, vet bills. Sam Smink, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.